What's up gamers? Welcome back to the channel for your daily dose of good vibes and video games. And someone requested and I am so happily delivering to react to PlayStation State of Play from today that actually just ended streaming about three hours ago. So I was not able to watch the live stream, but I figured why not do a reaction video to everything after it's already happened. That's kind of the way I like it. But I am very excited to see what this presentation has in store. I love a lot of PlayStation games. I haven't had the chance to play any PlayStation games yet on this channel here. I plan on playing the likes of Last of Us, Last of Us Part 2, God of War again, some Spider-Man games, and honestly I have a huge list. Until Dawn is one of them though, I must play Until Dawn. So if you guys are looking forward to maybe seeing some new playthroughs of some PlayStation exclusives, definitely consider subscribing to this channel and make sure to like the video as well, especially if you like the reaction. So maybe wait till the end for that. See for yourself. But anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you really like like the state of play video and the reaction. With all that being said, I hope you had a great day. I definitely did. I was planning on recording this, but I wanted to go take my dog on a walk beforehand and then I kind of got caught in the rain, but I was like, I'm not letting that stop me. Anyway, let's check out the state of play. <laughs> There are those who look into the eyes of another and see opportunity. I thought Lord of the Rings for a second a when I saw that eye. I thought the eyes and twist. On. Their stories are the ones we fear. And there are those who see potential. The light within the soul. What is so cute? A chance to lift someone up to achieve the impossible. Their stories rise to legend. It looks like this is a VR so game. So tell me. What do you see in Quill? Because her story depends on you. Visually, really pretty. I don't own a VR system yet, but this kind of makes me wish I did. our system eventually. Thanks like for kicking off our new state of play, Quill. Moss 2 is currently in development for PSVR. Ooh, We've nice. got some more exciting updates today, so let's keep it going. Here's a flashy new multiplayer shooter from the team at Ilphonic. I love the colors. I love the vibe. <laughs> I love his fun, funky shooters. And especially if it's like co-op and you can play with your friends, it looks like you can. This would be a blast. This looks like it'd be so much fun to play with your friends. Just I and like not even to be serious, just like to shoot the shit, you know? Ooh, loot. I love loot. That music syncing with the shooting was beautiful. Just gotta throw that out there. That was your first look at Arcade Get It, which begins early access today for PlayStation 5. Tribes of Midgard arrives later this month. Let's get a sneak peek at the post-launch plans for this addictive action RPG from Norsefell Games. 
Action RPG, you have Hi, I'm attention. Sydney from Norsefell, and I'm here to tell you more about how Tribes of Midgard will grow even bigger after launch with free season updates. Tribes of Midgard is a 10-player survival action RPG where you play as an Einherjar, a legendary Viking warrior revived by Odin himself to stop Ragnarok. Love the there art are two style. primary game modes, the session-based saga mode and the endless survival mode that are all about exploring Midgard, powering up your character, and fortifying your home village to stand against giants bent on destroying the seat of Yggdrasil. New seasonal updates will change the way you play and add challenges for you and your tribe to overcome. The game launches with Season 1, The Wolf Saga. It includes new classes, exclusive loot, and a powerful new boss. There will be eight different classes to unlock and choose from. Let's take a quick look at the Ranger, one of our two starting classes. As you gain levels, you unlock game-changing abilities in your class skill tree to match your playstyle, like the Lightning Fast Quick Shot or the Powerful Slowpoke. Because classes are complementary, it's fun to have a bit of everything in your tribe. We're excited to see how your strategies will change as classes expand in future updates. Season 1 also introduces runes, which give you new special powers to customize your character even more. The Wolf Sega will launch with 30 runes, including the Might of Mjolnir, which adds powerful chain lightning arcs to your attacks. You can use multiple runes together, and the effects can get pretty wild. You'll end up with different rune combinations each session, so you'll always have new ways to experiment. Last but not least, the biggest part of every season are Saga Quests, a series of quests that will bring you across Midgard. In Season 1 Saga, you'll unlock the ability to access a mysterious lair and face down your most powerful challenge yet. And the more dangerous foes you take on, the greater the reward. Speaking of great rewards, the Wolf Saga is stacked with season-exclusive weapons, armor sets, and truly mighty companions. I love this guy. Oh! This saga is only the beginning. Tribes of Midgard will keep expanding with more seasons that explore different parts of Norse mythology and add even more to the game. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in Midgard soon on July 27th. I know this is the PlayStation State of Play and everything, but this looks like a game that'd be really fun to play on the go on my Switch. Because sometimes, you know, you want to play games on the go. Port cities as good as lost. Must you go back? I must go back in order to end all this. <laughs> I love video games, seriously. It's kind of cool, because even if I don't plan on really playing any of these, or some of these, I wouldn't mind watching people play them, or just like watching casual playthroughs of them. Sometimes you just like to kick back, relax, and watch games without actually having to play games. It's like you let somebody else take over the hard Up work next, what do you get when you mix fighting games and battle royale? Ancient legends I'm trying to think of a clever comeback, and I can't think of one. <laughs> of the battle between demons and hunters. Hi, everyone. I'm John Georgie from Mantisco. And on behalf of our studio, I am thrilled to welcome you to the world of Hunter's Arena. The world is beautiful. I'll give In it that. In this mystical world, you will play as hunters who must fight deadly demons as well as other online players in order to survive. As a skillful hunter, you will master powerful swordplay and martial arts and will be constantly tested of your skills of precise timing and fast decision making. However, don't forget to have a little fun on your journey by customizing your weapons from disco <laughs> balls to rubber ducks. As you explore our expansive <laughs> oh maps, you will be able to explore dungeons and slay ancient demons to level up. We look forward to seeing your personalized strategies on your hunt. Another huge threat to look out for is none other than one of your own, a hunter. 
always have different strategies in mind and use the environment around you when facing your enemies. Utilize bushes for ambush or drop strike from higher grounds to unleash a lethal oh, blow on nice. unexpecting enemy players. Hunter's Arena features two Battle Royale modes, Solo and Trio. In Solo mode, you will solely take on other enemy players as well as deadly demons lurking behind your back in a 30-player free-for-all. In Trio mode, you'll be able to team up with your friends where focusing on teamwork and planning out strategies are crucial in achieving victory. There is so much more to experience in this fascinating world. I can't wait for you to encounter the, the countless dangers really cool. waiting in Hunter's Arena when it launches next month on want, PS4 like and mode, PS5. Too. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you all soon on Hunter's Arena. Yeah, I mean, it looks really Jump great. into Battle Royale action when Hunter's Arena Legends arrives on PS4 and PS5 next month. PlayStation Plus members will be able to download the PS4 and PS5 versions at no extra cost starting August 3rd. music on point today. To be age 42 to play this game? Well, I'm just kidding. Oh, I can feel my back breaking for that guy. Oh, jeez. Each fight he ages. <laughs> This said STFU. I was like, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Ever wanted to explore an alien planet? Then yes. this next game is for you. This is Jet, the Far Shore, created by Super Brothers and Pine Scented with a score by Scientific. In Chet, you play as May, one of a unit of aviator scientists who embark on an interstellar trip and alight on a mythic ocean planet where they dream of securing a future for their species. We aspired to create a video game to express our own feelings of awe when we look up at the starry sky. Jet is all about motion, whether it's weaving through trees or jumping over obstacles. I like love that so sense chill. of speeding through a remarkable natural space under a grand sky and suddenly being in someone's helmet, boots on the ground. Jet's premise involves exploration and discovery. However, our design doesn't rely on combat or resource extraction and the characters go to some lengths to tread lightly, giving indigenous wildlife a wide berth, striving to adapt and avoid conflict. As a jet scout, you'll inspect living things and employ your jet's tools to figure out what makes them tick. This is Occasionally, right up my alley. you'll run into trouble, and you'll have to use everything at your disposal to emerge unscathed. Actually, I'm Over the years, we've interested. contemplated what might be on the minds of interstellar explorers, what might propel them, and what might haunt them. And so our story provides an occasional glimpse into May's dreams, memories, and visions. 
At heart, Jet is a laid-back and enjoyable exploratory action adventure set within an intriguing new science fiction cosmos. Jet has had a long road. For a few years, there were only three of us. Since then, this vision has been sharpened and bolstered by an all-star squad. We hope you'll embark with us. I will be checking this game out. This is right up my alley. I love, I love chill games too. As much as I love action, I love just chill. Just chillin'. Let's check in with our friends at Sega for more on two upcoming adventures. Yay. Ooh! A mansion. Is this the place? <laughs> I'm scared. It's okay. I'm with you. I'll keep you safe. The demon's scent is growing stronger. <laughs> <sighs> The door! It just closed on its own! You saw it, right? I don't care who! Just come and fight me! Whoever shows up will be my next prey! I'm a demon slayer! Rank Mizunoto! Tanjiro Kamado! Here I come! And he's wielding Nichirin swords! Is he with the demon slayer core? <laughs> Zenitsu? He's not just pretending. He's really out cold. Thunder breathing. First form. Ooh, the combat Thunder clap cool. and flash. It's gonna feel so good to rip such a huge target to shreds. How could this human wound me? Let's go. I'm not giving up. Not ever. Keep moving forward. Stay sharp. It's a really cool combination of looking 2D and it. 3D at the same time. I'll get my hands on that rare blood and reclaim my rightful place among the 12 Kizuki. Yes, I've got him now. Blade that destroys humans. Oh, this this year. Cool. Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. Oh, maybe you hadn't heard that. You mean it's revenge? In that case, could he possibly have hired someone else to kill the guy in his stead? As for my request, Look at those graphics. I'd like to see what you can find out. Mikoshiba's murder is too suspicious. <laughs> suspicious. Okay. Yeah. Get him, Yagami bot. Don't <laughs> take a nap. This race is mine. Oh, that's awesome. Let's Go! Woo! This looks like it might be a ton of fun. Is that a Shiba? No. Watch this. Believe me, I'm just as clueless as you are, much as I hate to admit it. They said to tell you, this is your final warning. They've been spying on me? I guess we couldn't ask for a better piece of bait. What the hell do you think you're doing? This has nothing to do with her. Stop! Come on up! I can't get over how good these graphics look, though. Our next game was revealed just a few weeks ago. Time for a closer look at the expanded and enhanced Death Stranding Director's Cut, coming soon to PS5. Alright, let's check this out. 
Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. But. Then came the next explosion, an explosion that will be our last. Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. But at least we'll have hope. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. You see, I've come to understand the truth of the Death Stranding. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. Deathloop hits PS5 on September 14th. I'm actually Let's check out very an extended gameplay in demo of Bethesda one. and Arcane's Violent Vision. I'm a big Bethesda fan, Arcane fan. I'm actually quite interested in this. Hello, Black Reed. The other missionary tonight officially requests killing cults become your top priority. Or in other words, murder the bastard now. Every single person here is out to kill me. It's fun. I've been cutting short your meaningless rampages for some time. <laughs> it's Ooh. totally normal. Death is a typical physiological experience in this place. I hate to break it to you, but there is nothing normal about this fucking island. <laughs> oh, oh. You're gonna give me that attitude? What the heck? Same day, which means I already know what's going to happen. Am I supposed to do this every day for the rest of my life? <laughs> Fuck that! I'm breaking this loop. I'm Dinga, game director at Arcane Lyon, and I'm here to give you a special look at Deathloop. I'm... You, wow. of course. You're stuck in a time loop on the island of Black Reef where everybody wants you dead. Great. To escape, you'll have to take out eight targets known as the Visionaries before the day repeats. Also, one of your targets, Juliana, is in the business of hunting you down. That's a really cool premise. Fail to kill the target or die, and the day starts over. Oh, you gotta be kidding over. me. But every loop is an opportunity. With every cycle, you will learn more about the visionaries and the secrets of the island by exploring and observing. You will discover their habits and secrets using that knowledge to progress through the story. Let's jump into a mission several hours into the game to see Colt take on the visionary Alexis, the wolf, Dorsey. At this point, you have already learned from a previous loop that Alexis plans to give a speech at his well-guarded masquerade party. This is actually Let's really sweet. Let's use that sweet. intel to identify Alexis and take him down. So you're not supposed to get it on the I first was just thinking. Try. I want to know what the fuck is going on. Oh, you don't want that. You're looking for purpose. I'm looking for the fastest way out of this place. There are rules, Colt, and sometimes people bend the rules, and sometimes they break them. Blah, 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 blah. Were you talking when I was talking? Kind of reminds me of Dishonored a little bit with some of those abilities. Especially that one. Yeah. Cool. 
I've thought about it, and uh, I think I'm doing everyone here a favor by ending this. So what happens the when you break the loop? Yeah. Seriously, I want your theories. Everything goes back to normal, obviously. Normal? You have absolutely no fucking idea what will happen. True, but I know one way to find out. Nice throw. Dying isn't the end. Reprise is one of the powers you can unlock. It allows you to die and rewind twice before the loop restarts. You have also seen Carnesis that allows you to yank enemies around and shift the short range teleport. Hey, we killed you! <laughs> you can only rewind twice. Uh, keep getting yourself killed. In one loop. Can you stay and there's no like cooldown. Here's where Cold died. You can absorb your body to regain Residium, a resource that allows you to save your favorite weapons and abilities between loops. Over time, you will build an arsenal of weapons, abilities and upgrades that you can mix and match between missions to suit your playstyle or the needs of a specific task. Okay. I can see myself really enjoying this. <laughs> I like that. Your chaos. Hacking stuff, that's awesome. We use the haptic feedback and the adaptive trigger of the PS5's DualSense controller to bring an extra layer of immersion to your experience. Every movement feels different, and weapons express their personality in the palm of your hands. <laughs> oh, I was gonna hit that person. <laughs> Very impressive. I'm clapping with one hand. <laughs> Don't stop there. Put them both together. The body count is gonna get high. To Alexis's party. I found another way in. Through the window? No. On the no, cliff? No, I'm not climbing on any cliff or window. Just shut up! Keep my eyes There's always multiple ways to approach a target, and we just learned of one a back entrance to the mansion. Conversations like this happen all over Black Reef, and it often pays to stop and listen. alert means your rival, Juliana, has invaded your game. Controlled by another player or the AI, she's the real deal. You'll have to be extra vigilant when she's on the hunt. What? It's about time! Wow, yeah. I didn't know you liked to party. Ain't my style. Uh, you're all business all the time, aren't you? What is your style, exactly? chit chat when I should be killing motherfuckers, apparently. <laughs> I love the main character already. He's funny. I'll smoke anywhere, man. I'll smoke at the doctor's office. I'll smoke at a funeral. I'll smoke when people are eating their breakfast right next to me. Fuck your friends! You know what I'm saying? The wolves play a sick game. Whoever fails to impress the others with their evil deeds goes into the grinder and onto the dinner menu. Let's see if we can rig the outcome. Damn, that's savage. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, fried eggs. <laughs> it's cool. Best, I think best line I've heard so far. <laughs> What's up, sluts? I cornered the manufacturing... It could be Alexis, but it could also be another masked speaker. 
So let's hear him out and not take the shot. There were deaths, lawsuits, whatever. Profits far outstretched our small legal fees. We made millions that year. Cheap bastards who died, they could have afforded it. If it was important enough. Arrogant, cruel, no regard for others. Yeah, that's definitely Alexis. And yup. Alexis just dropped an upgrade to the Carnesis power Wait, and a hefty he dose of Residium. Did he do Time that? to get the hell out of here. This is fantastic! This looks like it's gonna be a blast. Yep. Yep. gonna call me like this all the time, Julie. Juliana. I give approximately zero fucks about what you call yourself. Uh -huh. But you did. Once. Yeah, this game looks great. <gasps> I'm very impressed. And there you have it. There was the PlayStation State of Play. I am very intrigued by a couple of those. Notably for me, the ones that I was the most interested in was definitely Deathloop. This one, Jet, the one with the spaceships, and it looks really cool and colorful and casual and kind of chill, but also some combat and some danger, like me likey. And this one also looked really fun as well, especially with friends. I think it was called Arcadegeddon. If I remember correctly, Arcadegeddon. But yeah, this one as well, also very interesting in my opinion, and I think could definitely be a fun with a with a good group of friends. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Which ones are you most excited for? What do you guys think of the overall presentation by PlayStation? I think there's a lot of really exciting games to look forward to this year. Even if I don't really plan on playing them, I definitely plan on watching some playthroughs of them, most likely on YouTube, because I just find a lot of joy in watching people enjoy video games themselves, and they get to do the hard work for me, and then I just get to chill, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this reaction video, and and thank you. You know who you are for requesting this video. I'm glad you told me about it and I'm glad I got to check it out. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for liking the video if you did like the reaction. And if you guys really like to kind of keep up to date with some gaming news, definitely subscribe to the channel. I like to keep up with it as well in the form of reaction videos, update videos, whatever. Also, if you guys are looking forward to seeing any PlayStation gameplay of what I said before, God of War, um, I plan on playing Until Dawn and The Last of Us and just several other games. Games, definitely make sure to subscribe if you're looking forward to that. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!